I'm happy I went with you. <laughs> well, you see, I like going with my husband to give such messages to our woman. Mm -hmm. Thank God Uncle traveled. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't have taken me to that program. But, Auntie, I want to hear more. So, marriage is as important as that. <laughs> My dear, marriage is more than just having children or to satisfy one desire or lust. This is because anybody can just decide to have children without necessarily getting married. There are so many bastard children around and they're the result of unplanned union. It was God who instituted marriage for his own purpose. But the Bible says he gave the woman to Adam because he needed help. Yes, you are right. Adam was lonely in the garden and God saw it wasn't good. So he gave him Eve to keep him company and to assist him to fulfill his vision in life. So Adam needed Eve to succeed in life. How? Because Adam was not complete being alone. Remember, God first created Adam. But when he now decided to meet the woman, he really took his time to create her. And he loaded her with gifts and treasures of heaven, which will be useful for the man and for the world. Wow, <laughs> that's wonderful. You know, Adam was bored and lonely in the garden. And Satan was happy with his condition because he posed no threat or problem for him. Explain better, Auntie. Caesar didn't feel threatened God made Adam. But immediately he sighted the woman in the garden. He became restless. Why? Ah, her presence means a lot. She stands for expansion, enlargement, increase, and above all, she is to compliment the man and to assist him to fulfill his dreams and vision. And that is the purpose of marriage. The woman is loaded from heaven. With what? With treasures and gifts God put in her to assist the man in life. And that is the reason for the womb. She has the seed that will bruise the head of the devil. The womb? Yes. You see, the woman has her physical womb to keep the seed she receives from her husband which later her becomes a baby by this the woman multiplies the word but she also has a spiritual womb we are the woman's toss the gift and treasure god gave her to complement the man and to fulfill the purpose of god on earth that was what the devil saw and he became mad and he went after her vigorously. Hmm. And she fell. Hmm. Yes. And the woman fell. But God never lost hope on her. Because immediately the Lord pronounced that the seed of the woman will bruise the head of the devil. <laughs> Praise God. And it finally happened when Mary, the woman, give birth to the Savior of the world, our Lord Jesus Christ. And Jesus, through his death and resurrection, bruised the head of the devil. And Jesus has given every woman that authority to use that seed he has given us to bruise the head of the devil. Hmm.
So, I have the seed in my spiritual womb. Yes, my dear. <laughs> no woman is born useless. You are loaded with gifts and treasure to become what God wants you to be in life and to achieve your man to fulfill his dreams and vision. I'm really happy to hear this. Thank God. Auntie. Yes, my dear. It's no use getting married to a visionless man. <laughs> my dear, it is the most terrible thing that can happen to a lady. That is why it's worth waiting for the best man. I mean, the perfect will of God for your life. Thank you, Auntie. <laughs> You're welcome, my dear. 